let's just do 50. That's not going to take that. It's fine. Number 52, so it's a bonus. That's fine. Y equals negative 6 over, I can almost write today, negative 6 over X. And the question's asking you, decide whether each relation defines Y as a function of X. So basically, to translate, is that a function? What do you think? Yes. You, it is a function. The simple think question you ask yourself, you can do this several ways, is, is it possible to get more than one Y values more than one y value for one x value on this. No, when you plug in an x value, it's going to generate a different y value. If you had your calculator or you made a table of values, you can always make a table. You can always pick a bunch of x values. If you graph this, did anybody graph this to see what it looked like? Anybody? Well, let's actually do that one. This That's what it looks like. What's that test called to test to see if something's a function? Vertical line test, Vertical line test. exactly. Vertical line test. And that says, a, for a function, all vertical lines can only pass through at most once. If, if any vertical line passes through the function more than once, then it's not a function. This right here, are there any vertical lines that pass more than once? No. If you graph these on improper resolution, sometimes you'll see a function like this, like spike down. Is that spike actually part of the graph? It's not. Uh, it gets in, this thing, can you plug in 0 into here? Can you plug 0 in right there? Can you make, can, can you make x equal to 0? Then it would be undefined. You can't divide by 0. So this function, what's the domain? That's a good question for you. This is, the domain of this function is x such that x doesn't equal what? It's any number except 0. That's a, fun, that's a question. So when you graph it, it does pass the vertical line test. It is a function. No, it just says decide whether it is a relation as a fun uh, defines y as a function of x. That's it. You could write f of x is equal to negative 6 over x. But no, there's nothing else you need to write. To say if it doesn't pass the vertical line test, it's find one vertical line. In this case, how many vertical lines can you draw that pass through more than one point? An infinite number keeps on going. You either have zero number of answers, one answer, or an infinite. Those are the most common number quantity of answers. So not a function. It does not pass the vertical line test. test does not pass the vertical line test. Any others? Any other? Nice. Okay. This is a, I'm glad you asked about this one. Y equals, uh, no, not Y. What is it? X equals Y to the sixth. Is this a function? What do you think? What's different? What's slightly different about this one? Well, the exponent's new, but what's what's even compared to what we just looked at? Like, it's not on the right side. This is x as a function of y. But is that what the question is asking? It's asking, is this y as a function of x? If you wanted to graph this and you didn't have your calculator, what can you always make? Can always make what? Always make a table. And then once you make the table, what do you plot? Yeah, you plot your points and you make a graph. Exactly. So x and y. If y is 1, what's x? Nope. 1 to the 6th is? 1. one. I didn't know that. Was. Sorry. It's to the 6th. I'm sorry. That is to the 6th. I'm sorry. Yes. 6. If y is 2, what's x? What's 2 to the 6th power? What's 2 times 2 times 2? What's 8 times 8? Done. What's 0? What's 0 to the 6th? 0. What's negative 1 to the 6th? 1, because it's an even power. What about t negative 2 to the 6th? 64. And what do you automatically notice here? 1 goes to uh, 1, goes to one, but 1 also goes to negative 1. So this is not a function. So there's concrete, but if you wanted to see what this looks like, you could graph it. You could graph it. So let's graph this. So y equals... Do you think this is going to be a steep function or a, like a really shallow function? What do you think? Anybody want to guess? Look, do the numbers get big? Do the numbers get big or small really quick? They get big really quick, right? So it's going to be pretty steep. So if I zoom standard here, if I zo 6 zoom standard, it's going to get steep really quickly. You see that? Um, oh, did I graph it? I just graphed y equals x to the 6th. Right? Yeah. That's not actually what it is. It's x equal. Now, plugging this in your calculator, this is totally something you don't need to know how to do yet, but I'll show it to you. If you want to plug this into your calculator, you have to actually do a little something you haven't done before. 
you have to isolate y, which you've done before, but how do you isolate y when it's y to the sixth? Does anybody want to take a guess? You move the power to... Yeah, you have to move the power. How do you undo a square? What's the inverse operation of a square? Square, square root. Square root, I'll just tell you, is one half power. So if you want to undo the second power, you raise it to the one half power. If you want to undo the sixth power, what power do you have to raise it to? One sixth. One sixth. I'll just show that you do not have to know this. I just want to show it to you. X equals Y to the sixth. That's X to the one sixth equals Y to the sixth. To, I've raised both sides to the same power. Again, you don't need to memorize this. When you have powers of powers, you know what you do with powers of powers? What do you do with the six and one sixth? Anybody want to guess? You multiply them. So this becomes X to the one sixth equals Y to the six times one sixth. But what's six times one sixth? So you have x to the 1 6th equals y. When you take an even root, you have to do plus or minus. This is another thing you don't need to know. Just I'm going to show this to you. So if you want to graph this, you have to graph y equals plus or minus x to the 1 6th. Again, you don't need to know this. This is just a bonus thing. So you have to graph x to the 1 6th and you have to graph negative x to the 1 6th. What does that look like? Well, let's try it. x literally to the, what do I write? 1 divided by 6. And then down here, what do I write? Negative, negative, negative of x to the one sixth. Let's see what this thing looks like. If I graph this, hey, does it look pretty similar to what we just had? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. Oh, does it look pretty similar? It's the same shape, but what happened to it? Yeah. Let me just show you. I'll also graph on here. I'm gonna graph. Um, uh, x to the 6, like this. So that was the original thing we graphed, right? Oh, look what happened. It flipped over a line. Can anybody tell me for a bonus point right now, just a, some good street cred, what line did I reflect over? Close. It's re really close. Again, this is a preview of something we're going to look at in a while. Y equals x. Look at this. You see this line of symmetry right here? It flipped over y equals x. It's kind of cool. But anyway, this right here, is this a function? Because it does not pass the correct. Okay, put everything away except the pencil, please. So what you're looking for, kids, you're looking for 3.6 exercises. This page right here. So that's what I'd like you to find. That's what